What's up guys, my name is Armlox, and today we have another Call of Duty Heroes episode. The Call of Duty Heroes series is a series that focuses around YouTubers, big or small, that I think are an asset to the Call of Duty community. Today we're talking about my favorite, the man, the myth, the legend, the beard, the exclusive ace. I know you guys have been waiting a long time for me to do an episode on the exclusive ace, so here we go. I really hope you enjoy this one. I'm gonna break down what I think Ace likes to do and hopefully entertain you guys in the process. Let's get into it. I love you, man. Let's go down memory lane. <laughs> okay guys, so now that we've effectively made Ace look at another man's hairy can, let me get serious on you guys. Let's talk about why Ace is a Call of Duty hero. Actually, we really shouldn't need to, but I'm going to anyway. Obviously, it is obvious. But um, what he does for the Call of Duty community is unlike any other current YouTuber, okay? There's lots of people out there that are either pub stomping or they're doing the odd video here and there. But no one outside of maybe Tabor Hill takes the time and uh, to upload uh, daily about tips and tricks and actually does all kinds of uh, hand testing in regards to the range of all the guns, the line of sights for the maps... Um, he gives us uh, the breaking Call of Duty news all the time. If there's ever a tip or trick or anything in the game that's relevant, the exclusive ace makes a video on it, man. So it's very obvious why <clears throat> he's a Call of Duty hero. And also, I got to say, he's one of the nicest guys I've, I've known, like, in this business, okay? And what I mean by that, like, for his size, he still takes time to answer comments and try to help out the uh, the little guy, okay? I don't know how many times he's let me do a multi-stream with him, trying to help my uh, Twitch channel grow, giving me shout outs here and there. I mean, the guy's just done a lot for me, so he deserves all the success that he gets, okay? I really can't say enough good things about the guy. But anyway, I just want to take a moment, get serious on you guys, and let you know how I feel about the exclusive ace, and why I think he is a Call of Duty hero. Now, looking before you, you will see this class setup that I basically took from the exclusive ace's video on one of his five favorite class setups. Let's get into it. Oh, hey, ladies and gentlemen, the exclusive ace pops in. Hey, ace, I was just singing your praises, bro. Me love you long time. Now what's right Me right so right. horny. Let's get into it. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? How does that guy do it? Is it that YouTube money? Is it the beard? How does he score like that? Oh shit, we're busted. Uh, uh, look, Inya, it's not what it looks like. It is not what it looks like. Look, um, she's a nurse. Yeah, 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 she's a nurse and Ace was feeling sick. His beard was an off, off reddish color. Uh, not the gorgeous uh, orange copper tonish color. And so, yeah, yeah, I called Ace. Ace, play along. So yeah, I, I called a nurse over and yeah, look, and, and, and then she got coffee. I spilled coffee all over her outfit, Inya. It's not his fault. And you know what? He's just a nice guy. He's like, hey, look, I, I can wash it for you. And, and she just walked out unexpectedly. And, uh... Oh my God, Inya took her out with the classic Super Mario turtle kick technique. Things are getting a little too hectic, my friends. I'm afraid we need to hurry up and get into the video. Ace, if I were you, I would disappear before Inya decides to check one of those turtles at you, bro. Aw, oh, look at the hearts. I know you're in love. Go get your man. And I'll go ahead and get this video started. Let's go, guys. Now who's gonna clean up this dead turtle and pick this mess up? Okay, everyone, so my goal is to use the exclusive Aces class setup and to win the game and, and uh, lead the lobby. I mean, that's that's my goal. Um, I didn't even, like, if I wanted to, like, just go off with this class, I probably could have took a week and maybe just had something amazing. But I said, you know what, I'm going to stay somewhat true. I'm only going to play a few games here. 
and uh, just let it roll. And this is like, uh, I think this is actually the second game that I play. The first game I actually show some highlights of in the intro at the very beginning. But the problem is the audio didn't record for some reason. So I'm like, ah, heck with it, I'll just use that for intro. And the rest is uh, legit. So here we go. So uh, I'm getting laid down here early on. Kind of a slow start. Um, on this, this is actually one of my favorite maps, Mayday. But um, I really like using Synaptic when I'm on this map. Now, I decided to use FTL because I, I see Ace use that uh, rig quite a bit. I know he really likes Phase Shift. So I, I told myself that I was going to use this with Phase Shift. Even though, you know what? Merc probably would have been better since I'm using the LMG. And I'm sure uh, Ace loves using the Merc as well with Reactive Armor and all that. So uh, no, no doubt that's one of his favorites as well. But... Um, the cool thing about this series actually is it wasn't that hard for me to do because I already play so much like Ace anyway. And what I, I've said this before, but the, you guys ever been to Vegas? Have you ever played Blackjack? Um, if you ever go to Vegas and play Blackjack, you have to know basic strategy. Basic strategy, when to hit, when, when to stand, when to double down. That's how you even the odds with the house, right? Look at that nice little wall run. I totally juked that guy out of his shorts right there. Um, that's how you even the odds. And I tell people that watching the exclusive Aces videos is like having basic strategy in Vegas. What does that mean? Well, he teaches you the basics of Call of Duty, the line of sights, what the guns do, good tactics, how to use, utilize cover efficient, efficiently, I should say, how to, how to make the most out of your specialists, right? So watching the exclusive Aces videos is the same to me. It's like a prerequisite. If you want to be a great Call of Duty player, you need to have his videos memorized, okay? Now, having that basic strategy down and knowing that, you're able to kind of deviate because you're deviating un under the uh, understanding that you're willing to make a calculated risk in order to achieve a goal, okay? That's an advanced type of thinking right now, okay? So you'll see me deviate from what Ace might do from time to time to try to rely a little bit more on my guns. Ooh, nice turn on, but the guy that I originally phased on snuck up on me there. Um, so you'll see me deviate from time to time from good tactics, trying to get a little bit of an edge. And you know what? Um, high risk, high reward, you know, but also with that risk, you get laid down quite a bit. This guy with the rect is kind of a pain in the ass. The rect is a pain in the rectum. <laughs> the guy keeps laying me down, so I'm not liking that. Um, but I think you guys, you guys feel me on this right here. Like you got, you got to have basic strategy. You got to know good Call of Duty tactics and the exclusive ace, he really, he, he leads the front, my friends. He leads the front in teaching people the basics of Call of Duty, okay? I mean, you go to any other channel and they don't quite break it down quite the same. And don't get me wrong, I have lots of other friends that are great YouTubers and, you know, they do what they do very well and they're really entertaining. Like, I get lots of laughs out of some of my bros, but Ace has the whole style of taking like a teacher or a mentor type of style where his videos are geared towards taking your average dude and making him an above average Call of Duty player. Okay, so that's what it's all about. So enough about that crap. Here we are in this wall run. I get a little bit too fancy and what do you know? See, when I use Synaptic, I don't have that problem because I always rock propulsion. So... I'm used to playing Synaptic on this map because of those high wall runs. On Mayday, those high wall runs is where it's at. Um, so, yeah, food for thought there. I got a little too far ahead of myself. Look at this nice little play, though, to end it. Look at this. That's how we're going to end it right there. Okay, so the end of round one, we're murdering these guys. These guys aren't too bad, though. Like, they're playing objectively. They got some prestige. Uh, got pretty much everyone on their team is prestige. You know, So they got a little bit of experience underneath them. So it's not like they're sloppy joes. But... You know, like I said, I told myself I wasn't going to lobby shop. I just threw myself in, you know, like three games is what I told myself. And this is it. And actually, the third game was a TDM. So, which I think I'm going to show you guys next, you know. Like, I think this video can be a little bit longer because I want to give Ace some props. And I want to talk about what he does. And I want to give a little bit of glory into this fine class setup that he's got going on right here. So, all right. So, opening right here. Take him off. Now, look at this right here. Look at that. I cannot win that gunfight, so I run from it. Well, I kind of run from it. I say, you know what? That little bastard. I'm going to try to take a little sneaky route. Look at this. Look at this. I'm hoping you don't see me right there. I'm hoping you don't see me right there. <laughs> right, this would have been a dope play. It looks like someone else laid him down or he took off. I saw a corpse there. That could have been the first guy I killed. So, 
Look at this guy. Now right here, look, look, nor, do not do this, folks. Do not chase people. The smart play is to let him go, but I lost track of him. And in losing track of him, he could have very well outplayed me on it right here. So do not do what I did. Do as I say, not as I do, okay? Exclusive base, I know you're cringing right now and you see me chasing people, but but you know what? I made up for it with those capture kills. <laughs> and I got I got face shift in my back pocket, so we can afford to be a little aggressive here. I don't like the fact I had oh he forced me into a phase. Now check out this gunfight right here. Prioritization. You see how I let go of the first one? Because the second guy was keyed up on me and actually saw me first, so I had to let go of my Ooh, oh no, did I just do the ace exclusive ace move with the P Law? Oh, Ace, come on, bro. I know your little beard is twitching on that one. You got a big old shit and grin on your face for that one, don't you, brother? <laughs> I know Ace loves to do that, man. He loves to take out that P wall in those unique situations where you, where people are grouped up or too far, or where explosive damage will be the uh, most efficient. So he he loves using that P wall, man. So that's why I bust it out there. I'm really trying to stay true to his playstyle just a little bit. Um, my spider senses is going up, but look at this. They're all grouped up over there. So an inexperienced player would just bum rush that, but I can't. I'm just going to kind of stay back and kind of try to pick them off. I mean, yeah, I let my advanced UAV run out, but, man, they're all at the back of the map, man. Just, like, you know, my teammates are, are pushing so hard that, yeah, okay, now I will. Now I'll push up after my teammates kind of provide a little buffer. That's just the smart play right there when you're on the street, and that's how I play it. So, I mean, what I, what I think I started to say a second ago is you never really want to triple cap. When you triple cap, you really complicate things for yourself. Well, I bust out the P-Law again thinking it might be a good opportunity. Okay, so homeboy took off, so no big deal. But you think triple capping would be good, right, because you're totally dominating their team. The problem is it m makes it very hard to read the spawn. So I do not recommend that you always, that you always triple cap. Okay, like obviously sometimes the spawns will naturally flip. Um, but again, it's risky, you know. Sometimes people will, the only time I really like to flip this, oh, look at this. Okay, check this play out. So he phased, right? So he got an angle on me. I had to phase on him, get into a corner of my own, and boom. Okay, so my, my warden laid him down, but look at this. Oh, man, that's <laughs> sitting pretty. So I'm teeing myself up very nicely here. I'm on a ruthless. I'm laying him down, absolutely, absolutely going ham in their spawn here. Now, I had to pick up this VPR because I ran out of ammo. The exclusive ace was not kind enough to allow me to have scavenger. He uses hardline on this, so I had to pick up a VPR because I'm, I'm going on a little bit of a streak here. And I got my advanced UAV. Look at this. I'm just going to corner, wait a little bit. Oh, boy. I got lucky there. He had the claw. Oh, laying him down. It's a heads-up gunfight. That's risky. Now, I'm healing up right here in the corner before I challenge. At least that's what I'm trying to do. And again, uh, he had the claw. So, man, it, it, things are getting really hectic over here, but we're just beating breaks off these folks get a nice little kill there and there's my relentless actually got a nice little streak here to end the game a 21 22 kill streak there to uh in the game dope as soap man i should grow a beard like ace do you love me brother do you love me now hang tight guys because here in a second i'm gonna bring you guys um some team death match, match action so stay tuned it's just gonna be in a moment so here we are on the map, Teresa, using the exact same class setup that Ace gave us. And I told myself, you know what, I know Ace also likes to play TDM, so for the sake of changing it up, I thought, you know what, I'll throw a TDM in the mix. This is actually my third game that I'm playing with this setup, and uh, the final one. I told myself, I'm just going to let the cards fall where they fall here. If I do well, great. Of course, I really want to do good, right? But uh, if I don't, then that's just the way it is. You know, I'm going to stay true and just let you know let it happen let it happen see how the cookie crumbles my friends and as you can see our hero arm locks is having a little bit of a rocky start here this map is anything but consistent when it comes to spawns i find i really really struggle on this map to to read the spawns at times although with the days of summer here recently i have been getting much better at it but even if you know exactly where they're spawning on this map I'm telling you, sometimes it, it, it's it's tricky. Sometimes they'll still spawn in the craziest place on this map. So, uh, word of the wise. Now, look, it gets a little too hectic right here, so I have to phase and shag ass out of there. And because uh, my spider senses were going off, and I just I, I can't find out where this guy is at. He's kind of eluding me here a little bit. See right there, my my spider senses tingling again. It's like where the hell is this guy? 
Okay, there he is. Finally, look at him creeping and crawling. <laughs> All right, so got that kill. And I, I, need, I like to flank a lot on this map. This, this is a good, good little flanking map. I mean, it's like any other map, right? I mean, you stay out of the boom boom room in the middle, right? My spider sense is going off, and yeah. Guy snuck up on me. You know, sometimes perception is more of a pain than anything. Because honestly, if my spider senses go off, sometimes I go back to investigate to my peril. That I should not have done. This guy's just jumping around and again get laid down. Now this Deathstroke guy that keeps killing me, he's actually a pretty good player. I've seen him in the lobby before and he's talking to me or, or was talking to me um, a little bit. So, All right, so pushing back up to where the bad guys are at. Look at this. I have no cover. Way to go. Okay, I should have been laid down there. I, I should have utilized cover, but I think I, think I might have... Uh, seen on the map or heard someone coming so I stopped the, the, the pre-aim a little bit but I should have got behind that cover there okay nice little window check and I don't want to hang out right there where they can shoot me in the leg so I'm gonna I'm gonna reevaluate this situation right here I got face shift in my back pocket so we're not afraid to be a little bit more aggressive when we got face shift you know I want to be careful I'm not getting fucked so I see there's a guy up there shooting and nice little kill all right, we're on rolling at this point. It's still pretty close of a game, so you know I definitely want to get the victory. I got I my again my goal is to lead the lobby and win the game. Okay, so we got to treat this like the homecoming, my friends. We don't want to lose the homecoming game. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I got killed again off the streak. I can't quite get anything going at the beginning. It seems you know, I'm reading the map here. I know they're over there. Just gotta find my shots. There we go. And almost got shot in the butt. I had to phase. I wasn't sure where that grenade was at. So I had to phase just to be on the safe side. I got a couple kills under my belt here. I'm checking my window right there. And I know there's someone up there. But, you know, I'm just trying to be cautious. I see the vultures going to town in there. So, okay. So we're good. And I'm expecting them to come running up those stairs. I know there's a spawn. There's The spawn points are back there, you know. But um, no one did. So I pushed out. Got the synaptic kill. And they'll spawn right in this room right here. Unless you get a line of sight, and then it'll push off to the side, of course. Okay, so I see that the spawn is flipped. So, yeah, it's time to uh, time to rinse and repeat a little bit here. Okay, my teammate's going off a little bit. But, you know, we're ahead, but, you know, anything can happen. Anything can happen in some of these TDM games, I'm telling you. So I still want to play pretty careful. Okay, I've been recycling. This guy has been doing nothing but jumping up in that window, and I'm paying attention to that. I, like... If I die in a game early on, I always recycle that information to try to re remember what the tendencies of my enemies are. So, remembering what they like to do after they kill you is so important. In fact, many times I will watch the kill cam. I'll watch the kill cam for several reasons. To learn how they like to maneuver, to see um, how sharp they are, to see what perks they're using, to see what kind of gun and attachments, all that, the whole nine yards. It's all relevant. It's all relevant and it all goes into my big recycle bin for the future fights, for the future gun engagements here. Okay, now remember that information I told you I was recycling right here? I'm not even so worried. About, I'm taking a calculated risk here. I'm not so worried about the little head glitch off to my left. Okay, I'm going to check, of course, but I, I hear something going on and I'm pretty confident. Yeah, there he goes. So I lay him down. I knew he always likes to jump. Now check out this play. Put a couple bullets into him and look, totally juked him out. So basically you had him one shot. Juked him out, got the easy kill before he was able to lay me down. Which you pretty much have to be careful. Look at this. I just can't get anything going. You know, like I have a couple good moves, you know, have a couple good plays, and then die. So, very frustrating start. I blame the map. <laughs> okay, nice little double bubble there, man. I caught a couple people trying to sneak into our flank and lay those guys down. And I'm going to build a little flank of my own here. A little, little flank rule of my own. All right, there's a guy. I purposefully let that guy go go to my left. I saw him. Spider senses go off. I phase. I had to let that guy go because I was afraid that if I chased him, someone would shoot me in the back. And for sure they would because my, my perception just went off there. So. All right, so I don't know where they're at, but I know where my teammates are at. So I, I run to them, of course, until I get my bearings, and then I'm ready to re-engage, right? Okay, so this guy follows me. Look at this. Man, these guys are pesky as hell, I'm telling you. These guys are so pesky. So I try to heal up, I try to, to re-engage, nothing. So, okay, I got a good feel of where they're spawning at, and that's how we're going to play this. I'm going to go from head glitch 1 to head glitch 2 up here, nice little play. And sure enough, there it comes right off the spawn, I get the kill. My perception goes off though, these guys, I'm telling you. Look, now where, 
trying to riddle me where he came from. I just came from that direction. How did I pass him? But anyway, I'm reading my mini map. I know there's some guys up here and look at that. Look at that triple. Ace would say, ooh, baby, a triple. And then I get laid down. How do you like that? But guess what, fellas? Guess what? Armlox has his warden. Let's go. So I got into my warden, okay. And, uh, you know, life is pretty good now. We've got a little bit of a lead. I went on a little bit of a mini streak there to get into the warden. So, you know, life's not too bad. And there it is getting a kill for me. Face shift in my pocket. Time to get aggressive. Laid that guy down. They are spawning on the other edge of the map. Of course, I do a little jump shot check. Never hurts to do a little jump check right there into that into that little window. Now, again with my with my bad early start, um, you know, of course it's not the best that I could have played. If I if I would have had a week or something, ooh, look at this FTL jump! I face shift on him. If I would have had a week or gave it more time, I'm sure I could have came up with some better gameplay, a juggernaut or something like that. But I really don't think that's what Ace would do. Ace plays for fun, and whenever he records his videos, he just lets it ride. You know, like he, you know, he turns on, he gets into a lobby, doesn't lobby shop, and however well he does, that's what he posts. And so I try to stay true to him, trying to do the, a little bit of that on my own. And I'm just, man, I'm working this room right here. I am working these boys. I'm reading the map. I know there's a guy up there that he runs right down again, and he's trying to find me. So I'm in these guys' head. I'm totally messing with these guys. This is good. This is a good feeling when you get map control like this and you just, you got them guessing. When you have the enemies guessing, it's always a good feeling. Okay, now now I'm guessing a little bit. And I was like, okay, where are they spawning now? <laughs> good thing this game is coming to end. Shot him in the back and, and look at this. Oh, nice little play. I'm kind of proud of that one. That was a good one. Oh, now that's the arm locks we've come to know and love, my friends. Now we're on a roll. We're into our second warden and on a TDM. So, you know, it's all good. You know we're having a good game. So, you know, I mean, that's pretty much the gist of it. The game ends right there. But more importantly, and I know this is a long video for you guys, but I wanted to, you know, spend a little extra time on the Ace video and give him props because he really deserves it. So thank you, everyone, for supporting my channel. I really hope you enjoyed this. But more than anything, thank you to the exclusive Ace because you are a Call of Duty hero. Arm Locks is out. GG Armlocks.